Good morning, everyone. Aussies love a good lunch on the run, whether it's a sanger, a sausage roll, a good old-fashioned meat pie, but yeah. there is a new addition on the menu that's getting ever more popular by the day. We're talking about the Vietnamese pork roll. Nice. Don't you love one of them? Today's Mike Dalton went to test out his taste buds. Over the last 20 years, they have popped up all over suburbia. The Vietnamese bread shop. And from baking bread, they have, in their short time in shop fronts, evolved into Vietnamese roll shops. And the king of rolls is the traditional bun mi tet, the Vietnamese pork roll. Home of the king is Cabramatta in Sydney's west. And devoted foot soldier of the king is foodie Tung No. Righto Tung, well we're just near the bus interchange here outside Cabra Bakery which does a pork roll and this has got a carte du jour of pork rolls. Can we go through the list? Of course. Um, it starts with a normal pork roll, then it goes on to chicken roll and you can even have fried fish or even tuna roll. The pork roll is a creation of nations clashing. Vietnamese pork, three kinds of, wrapped in the baguette of colonial France which is then liberated by Australian tummies as a lunchtime favourite. You will see it's the most beautiful thing. You could see different colours. Listen, listen how you're talking here. You love a bun me. Uh, my mouth is watering while we're talking. <laughs> Tung's favourite pork roll place is Venata's. An owner here soon will now demonstrate the correct assemblage. That pate is chicken pate, which she makes herself here every day. It's just you know normal buttery mayo. Barbecue pork, Vietnamese Devon, and another type of Vietnamese pork. The cucumber next. You look at that carrot, and it looks just like grated carrot, yeah? But? But it has to be pickled, okay. because that's how you help to balance all of the starchiness of the, the rest of the food. Alrighty. Now, here's the secret. If you go to a pork roll place, and they use onion, instead of spring onions, you know they're cheating. Coriander in and radish. She makes her own thick soy sauce. The final finishing touch, she always recommends chilli. In one average suburban strip, the rolls are so good at Hong Ha, the punters are queuing up like it's the ivy. I've been coming here for the last three years now, so... Mate, is there always a queue? There is always, mate. This, uh, this is pretty linear today, but uh, I reckon overall we'll go all the way up to the best and less shop there. So. Fair Yeah, mate. But this one's definitely got the nicest bread, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's why I come. And that's important, is it not? Yeah, yeah, get a nice, nice crispy bread roll. So it's cutting the gums. Yeah. yeah. It's important to be here, yeah. <laughs> mate, you're giving us almost a religious significance, <laughs> it really. Is. It is. Okay. It's the best one in Sydney. Oh, we came all the way from the eastern suburbs to get this. Yeah, what? so... You crossed yeah. Anzac Parade? I crossed Anzac Parade. Did you bring yeah. oxygen with you? <laughs> and a Sherpa? <laughs> Are you a regular down here? Yes, I am. Okay, we'll get him shuffle up here, otherwise you'll miss your pop in the queue. We can go forward, mate. Oh, easy. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, easy. Tongue's the man, isn't he? <laughs> yes. What a great name. What do you think came first? His name or deciding that he was going to be a, a chef-type stroke cook thing? 